as far as I know, there's not a lot of people out there on this planet that has collectively looked at all these different sciences and said, this is basically how it works. You know, that what we call the soil food web, this predator-prey interaction. It's so complex, yet really so basic. It just makes a lot of sense. I wanted to know what the problem was out in the field. You know, a lot of times plants were sick. Either it was a nutritional problem or it was an insect or a disease problem. And instead of just treating it with a 911 chemical pesticide or fertilizer, I wanted to know what the underlying cause was. And the underlying cause was something to do with the soil. And it just made so much sense when I learned from Dr. Lane Ingham what the missing link, the catalyst that made organic fertilizers and amendments were. It really wasn't the product as much as it was the biology, if it was there in the soil. There's organic and then there's biological. And you really cannot have a successful organic or conventional growing system without the active biology. And soil degradation over the last years is one of the top environmental issues. So having as many people as we can bringing attention to this issue, I think is really important. Where they say, you know, without GMO and conventional farming, we would not be able to feed the world. That's totally untrue because the data is there. And, you know, what we do when it comes to growing plants regeneratively because of the savings, they're enormous and the increase in yields are huge. You can actually back that up with the science behind Soil Food Web and quantifying the microbes. It's really more than just the course. It's actually a uh, organization of like-minded people that are making a major change to the environment, to our food supply, and we can continue to learn, take more courses, and advance into more of a role of an advisor over time. But that is a process, it really is. We're always learning as a group, as a science, and uh, it's, it's a great collective group of people around the country and overseas that we all kind of communicate with each other. It's like you're a soil explorer that gets to look at a whole world that a lot of people just walk over every day and don't think much about. One of my clients out in the Midwest does soy and corn. In three years they completely eliminated Roundup. They have switched over to non-GMO and just that alone has saved them over a million dollars. Most conventional farmers in soy and corn for example, they're going to spend between $800 and $1,000 an acre. Their cost. Where this particular client is probably spending $150 to $200 an acre now. And now we're sourcing out local resources that at one time would have gone to the probably local dump. Now is going to their farm and we're recycling it and making high-end compost out of it and then also making liquid extracts out of it on, on a much larger scale. And now they're increasing their yields. Our objective for this particular client, he's looking to get over 300 to 350 bushels an acre versus the conventional 170 to 200. They see a lot more life. You know, they're seeing butterflies and frogs and salamanders and snakes and all these things have like disappeared from their environment. Now they're coming back. And I think that's really satisfying. What business can you go into, make money, but yet you're giving back to society, you're giving back to the environment, and you're giving back to your children? Visit us today to find out how you can contribute to the soil revolution.